Hello Star Citizens, welcome to the video Origin 600i is the topic for today and we will do bounty hunting. Let's get into it. So let's begin with the loadout. As you can see I've already replaced the quantum drive and we go with the crossfield to get around the verse a bit faster. The base shields are good, you can keep them, but if you want an improvement you can go to the full blocks or to the FR86. Full blocks are a bit cheaper, FR86 are the best you can buy. I go with the FR86 times 2. For the weapon we will try three different loadouts in the video. First we try the base weapons, which are laser cannons, size 5. Later we will try the Gatlings and the ballistic cannons. As usual, please like the video and subscribe to my channel, that really helps me out, thanks. So, first bounty is a Hercules A2. As you can see, the capacitor is spread evenly between weapons, shields and engines. Coming into range and applying the first shots. Eventually we can bring them down, but I think laser cannons are definitely not optimal, so we try out the Gatlings next. So as ballistic weapons do not require any energy, we can set the capacitor to full shields now, which is definitely an advantage and gives us a lot more shield. Next ART target is again a Hercules A2. That's much better. Let's try another one. This time an Origin 890 jump. Nice. 
not let this test end without trying a hammerhead. Try the Dead Bolt 5 Ballistic Cannons now. Our first test brings us a hammerhead again. Count the number of shots with me. So what's my takeaway of this ship? Well, it's tougher than the Hercules C2, the firepower is more than enough, and while it's heavy and sluggish, no way near the Hercules C2, I think it moves a bit better than the Corsair. For the loadout I'm equal between the Gatlings and the Ballistic Cannons, both are viable options. Maybe this time I'm a bit in favor of the Ballistic Cannons Dead Bowl 5. Please check out my other videos and come back soon for more content. And if you will, hit subscribe now. Thanks a lot and see you in the verse.